Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be installing these new tires that I got in. Today we're going to be installing the Vittoria Mezcal 3s. Yes. Most of y'all don't know because you're new to the channel, but I've been rolling around with uh, some Maxxis tires that I installed a few weeks ago. Asagai 2.5 in the front and a High Roller 2 2.4 in the back. They're 27 and a half inch and they're great tires, super grippy. But with that being said, it's a little more grip than what I really need. You know, I could still get the amount of grip that I need for where I'm at and get a little lower rolling resistance and that'd probably make the ride more enjoyable to me. I want my bike to be as light as possible like most of y'all out there. I don't know, I just don't wanna overdo it. Why roll slower if you don't really have to? Like where I live, there's not a lot of mountains, there's not a lot of hills, <laughs> super level elevation. So I'm doing more of a XC slash you know, trail riding. There's no downhill for me, so it's not really a point to have downhill tires. Uh, but where I live, I live in the southeast region of the U.S. Um, it's a lot of hard pack, a lot of loose over hard, um, and I'm going to be moving to Florida soon, so I'm going to be dealing with some sand. These tires will be great for sand, I, in my, I think, but for everything else, just for the 90% of the riding that I'm doing, these tires are a little too much. I have a 2.5 on a 25 millimeter internal width rim which works but is like kind of iffy you know i don't know now that i know a little bit more about the sport you know i i'm gonna kind of dial in everything and get some proper tires on there for the terrain that i'm riding in so yeah with that being said i ordered these i didn't really know which way to go at first so uh, while i was browsing online late at night I found these Max's icons, and um, there you can see the tread pattern. I'm not gonna take them out of the wrapper just yet because I might end up returning these. Literally five minutes after I ordered these, I found these. From all of the research that I've done, they are very similar tires. The Mezcal has slightly, slightly larger knobs. The spacing is pretty much even on both of the tires, but I, I wanna roll with this one because it's a different brand that I haven't tried yet. And I think the Mezcal is gonna give me the grip that I want with the lower rolling resistance, whereas the Icon, I think I'd have solid grip but i think i just ha will have a little bit more with this so just a little comparison of the two tires here we have mezcal and the icon technology on the mezcal it has the graphene 2.0 nanotechnology improves speed grip durability and puncture resistance without compromise uh four compounds sidewall protection they are both 120 tpi they're both tubeless ready uh i believe the icon has three 3C, three compound. Um, it has the exo protection and max, it's the max speed compound uh, combination as opposed to like the max grip or the max Terra. Yeah, they're pretty much the same tire. This one just has slightly bigger knobs. I mean, ever so slightly, like 0.2 millimeters, maybe half a millimeter, maybe a millimeter. Still a millimeter, you know? One of the reasons I'm going with this tire too is because I haven't tried this brand yet and I'm interested to see how good it is. I mean, I already know Maxxis makes great tires, so I might just hang on to these because, you know, they're gonna be used eventually. All right, so let's get this thing installed. My 
first impression on the Vittoria Mezcal is that it's a looker. I mean, this is a nice looking tire and it's got a gray sidewall, which is actually gonna go pretty nice with the gray um, decals that I have on my fork here. So yeah, I'm excited. All right, we're gonna go let these sit on the trash can in the heat for a little bit so that the bead can kinda straighten out. Hopefully it doesn't rain. So I went to go check the mail real quick because I was gonna remove my little dork disc there and I ordered a half inch, um, like a little socket wrench because I don't have any tools. And guess what? He sent me a good old empty package there. Very nice. So dork disc, you must remain for now. sealant? Can I just pour that into there? My camera was still rolling, I forgot it died. Kinda glad it died. It wasn't pretty. Me trying to get um, the tire back on the rim. I know there's tips and tricks and I'm pretty sure people would, you know, can just knock it out real quick. But for me, it took a second for me to be like, oh yeah. It looks pretty nice. I did it with just my, this is the Air Tool Specialized Pump, solid pump. Um, and then I used the trick that I saw. Um, it's from, I think, Sid and Mac's channel. Mackie, Sid and Mackie's channel. I'll put a link in the description of the video, but it's an awesome trick where you just help out the uh, bead by seating it halfway, pretty much. And then you don't need an air compressor. You just give it a, you gotta give it a solid shot on the, on the um, air pump. But since it's already halfway seated, I mean, it, it's work. I got both of these tires on there doing it. I got this one on there. Yeah, so that's the trick I'll be using forever. Because I wanted y'all to see uh, the wide, the difference between my widest tire that I had and then what I'm rolling with now. Get a close up, bigger knobs. And then you can see the spacing on the knobs. It's much different, but you can see that the Mezcal still has, a, the cornering knobs are raised a little bit. So I don't think that I'll suffer too much on my cornering. I don't think I'll suffer at all in my quarter ring actually, because I this is overkill for what I was where I'm riding. Super overkill. Time for round two.
If y'all made it this far, thank y'all for tuning in. Um, this has been really fun for me. Please like and subscribe uh, for more content. Stay tuned for a review video on how the mezcals go on the trail and along with some uh, footage of that as well. So yeah, man. Till next time, y'all have a great day.